Welcome to the garage. I'm Robert, and this is Haslip Cycle Works. In our last episode, we unboxed, hooked up, and tested our Everlast, our Everlast Power Plasma 50S. During that episode, I kind of said that we needed a dedicated place to be doing our plasma cutting. We didn't want to cut into our Surflat weld table. So, um, I like the Surflat table so much um, that I went through them and purchased one of their plasma tables. Here's how it comes. Um, excuse the, the rust there I had a, a rusty exhaust in the garage and it's dumped some of its remnants all over our new steel parts well uh, I'll get that cleaned up but there's the main body portion of the table uh, you can see the slats um, kind of tucked inside of there and our cross pieces and all of our sides kind of bundled up and the one long piece here and that's how it came to me it's got a bolt in it and a nut on the back side, kind of keeping it all together makes it easier to ship. Also went ahead and ordered the downdraft. I, I think that's what you call it. Um, anyway, it, it bolts to the bottom of the table and provides like a plenum so that the slag and the sparks and everything kind of flow through that, through the bottom of the table, into a steel bucket of our choosing. Uh, it's hard enough to keep the garage clean without having to worry about all that. And along with all that, I also ordered the leg kit with the casters. Um, still not 100% sure on the layout for this garage with everything that we're going to be adding. So I wanted the opportunity to be able to move it if I needed to. Relocate it or if we ever move to a bigger shop, I can simply roll it into the moving truck or across the property to the new garage if that ever happens um, it's got all that from all from sir flat easy process to order that I mean you guys know how highly I speak of their products so here are all the components we've got our diagram parts list assembly instructions bag of hardware our corner plates our ends, the slats, the long ends, and the long slats. Um, the consumable portions, uh, the slats that fit in each one of these grooves are on the floor behind me. We're going to get the actual table itself built first, then we're going to build the legs, and we're going to flip the table over onto the legs, that way we've got a sturdy platform. Then we'll build the uh, downdraft slag bed kit, and then we'll put all of our slats in, and uh, we'll call it done. Um, this is built the exact same way that the wall table is built, the tab and slot technology. So as long as your joints are clean and you follow the instructions, um, this thing goes together easier than an adult erector set. So I'm going to set you guys up on the tripod over my shoulder and we're going to start a dry assembly and get this thing put together and then I'll tack it all together and once it's tacked we'll double check everything. If everything looks good then we'll burn it in for good. Let's get to it.
our certified flat plasma table put together. We've installed our slats. Everything's bolted together. Got a ground clamp on our table. Hopefully that transfers uh, to the workpiece. Got a, a galvanized steel bucket below to catch all that slag and sparks and everything. Plasma cutter, I'm sure you can hear, is turned on. I think all that's left now is to test it out. Make sure it cuts and that the slag bed works the way we hope it does. So I've got some, I want to say 20, 22 gauge, just mild steel sheet. And we're just going to freehand cut some stuff and uh, make sure we don't have any problems. Definitely looks like it's working to me. Um, it's a good thing I've ordered some additional slats. As you can see, uh, it does kind of burn through those, which is by design. These are considered consumable parts, and they're very cheap. Yeah, that's it. Um, I'll dismount you guys from the tripod, and we'll walk around it. Get one last look at it, and I think that'll do it. And the slag bed definitely seems like it's working. Uh, caught the pieces that fell out. You can also see that black dust that's generated when you're cutting. And that is all down in the bucket. I'm going to call that a win. Everything appears to be working perfectly. The table came out very well. As you can see I painted the legs. I will have to build some sort of shelf, I think, to go here to hold our bucket in place so we don't knock it over. Uh, right now I just have a couple melt crates and then I want to build a dedicated shelf just for the plasma cutter. I do have additional slats on the way from CertiFlat so that'll give us workable space on the entire work surface of our table. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Came out amazing. Construction was very easy, went together very fast. That may be because, well, for one, the plasma table is not as involved of a build as, say, the... the oh, can't show you that. <laughs> uh, there's some stuff over there I don't want to reveal to you guys yet. Maybe you caught a glimpse. But the construction of the plasma table is a lot less involved than the weld table. A lot less pieces. It's a lot lighter. And I think it also went together quicker because I've already put together a sort of flat product. So I was very familiar with it, um, but it went together as advertised. Uh, the leg kit fell right into place, welded that up, bolted the casters on, flipped it over, installed the slag bed, and that was it. Done. I'm sure you've heard me mention before that I do plan on converting this into a CNC table. I'm not going to give any details out yet. Still trying to get that all worked out. I think you guys are going to enjoy that build. That's going to be pretty sweet. These plasma tables are common. CNC plasma cutters are pretty common now. But the way we're going to handle it, I haven't seen too many of. So definitely stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, you may want to do so just so you don't miss out on that. But get the message out there. Let all your friends know what we're doing at Haslip Cycle Works and the projects that we're doing. I think that's it for today, guys. Until next time, get up. Get out there and do it.